This is Mike Mozart of Jeepers Media on YouTube, and I'm going to see some of the artwork that I've done for the past 30 years. And though I'm really well known for my Stop Sopa video, I do a lot of failed toy reviews. For years, I illustrated children's books and designed toys with lots of popular characters. Not these, because these aren't the characters. That's not the Roadrunner. It's obviously a duck billed dog kiss. I mean, really. Who could mistake that for the Roadrunner? It's a dog all the way down to its paws. And there's my signature, Mike Mozart Reverso. Do you know what happens to artwork after the artist dies? You should go for the old fat ones, because they're going to go first. Now, a lot of people might mistake this for being Dexter sitting in a big pot of boiling brew. But it's actually not. This is just a little tiny detail from the other side. It's so obvious when you actually look at these as a small part of a much bigger whole. And this character is called the Lab Rat. And of course, it's a genuine Mike Mozart Reverso. I mean, really larger character. Look how big I am. I don't do anything little. Everything is enormous. What I'm hoping to do is find a gallery, maybe in New York City. That would be ideal since I live right outside New York City that wants to show this controversial show. Of course, it'd have to be a gallery that was clever enough to show that these paintings are on both sides and both sides are necessary because it shows I'm not infringing anybody's copyright. Well, a lot of people might mistake this for Jack Skellington, but they'd be wrong. This isn't Jack Skellington. It's a detail of a much bigger picture. That's on the other side, the reverso. But now look at what this painting actually is. This is the big copyright jackass. I mean, really. Who would mistake that for Jack Skellington now? And I'm not the unknown artist. Search Mike Mozart in quotations on Google. There's a million hits for me or my company Jeepers Media. And my next Mike Mozart reverso is one of the orneriest, craziest, shooting up characters in the whole world. It's not actually Yosemite Sam. How could anyone mistake you duck you miss for Yosemite Sam? And what do we have here? No, it's not Waldo or Wally, depending on where in the world you are. But a lot of people make that mistake. I can't understand why. But if you look at the other side, it's obviously the Santasaurus. I mean, what else could that be? This is safe fair use because this is commentary on the big media companies and how they're trying to silence you. So copyrights now are the beast. And now I have a reason just to show the hypocrisy of these people. All of this artwork is fair use, absolutely. All of my works of art are two-sided commentaries on the hypocrisy and ridiculous copyright laws we have now that are being manipulated by big media companies that'll claim they own the tiniest shred of media. And what this is another Mike Mozart free to re-upload anywhere on the internet you wish video. Or you can click this remix button under the screen and you can re-upload it to your channel and the views will count on your channel. How can you beat that? Help me spread the word. Mike Mozart reversos are also on a lot of antique clocks. I especially like the original George Nelson clocks for Herman Miller. I turn them all into reversos. This is one of my next projects. And this, that's my homage to Keith Haring, which I was very proud of. I made that in 1990 and really loved it. And here's a little bit closer look at the Keith Haring picture. I used all kinds of, what at the time, revolutionary painting techniques. And I kept a little leather bound book and I kept track of all those techniques. And I'm going to bring them all back in a lot of new pictures. So please, share this video anywhere you can. If you know someone that owns a gallery, great. You know, send them a link to this. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.